Hi, good afternoon. Uh, today, um, the small video cast that I'm um, giving you here, uh, I'm going to show you about how a malicious PDF can be detected. Malicious PDF is not necessarily infested with the virus, but a PDF can be malicious in many ways. In what ways? I'll uh, give you a brief overview kind of a thing when the results are shown at the end. So in this uh, uh, setup that I have uh, sh uh, done and you are seeing on the screen, uh, you see a backtrack and uh, here you see um, these are two files. One is a black file and the other one is a white file. So black is the malicious one and white is the good one. So the tool that I'm going to use here is a PDF ID. Now a small thing about a PDF ID. PDF ID is uh, just show you about uh, it is a tool which is uh, there in the backtrack and uh, was in, maybe developed by Didier Stevens. This is the guy Didier Stevens and you can have a scroll through what it offers like uh, and with some few screenshots and how it got developed and how it can be malicious and how uh, you can detect that's shown screen shot wise so i'm going to show you the video cast so it is a very simple tool you uh, run your uh, backtrack uh, oh, what happened yeah you just run your backtrack and then go to applications then backtrack and then forensics and then PDF ID so here you come so this is the um, options which are shown like minus H minus S A E F D there's well, so much of it inside with so many switches what I'm using here is like uh, it is a very small kind of a thing mm, yeah so first of all I'm going to show you is the white white pdf how how this tool when i run it on the white pdf it doesn't contain anything how it runs and what it offers so i show it to you here now the tool is running and uh, here comes the summary <coughs> so in the summary we see this uh, things which are identified so primarily we are looking for something malicious can be in form of js uh, javascript so these are the javas things which should be should not be there and they are not there like javascript it's zero js there's one tool you can one part js is a javascript is like you can embed it in a pdf and uh, but nobody would be able to know till the time you he goes neck deep into a pdf like this to identify if there is a js script on it you open a pdf otherwise what you find is you simply read it and you close it but the javascript gets executed at the back end and uh, what with what intentions uh, we have to be lucky enough not to be very badly uh, intended for by the javascript so so the next one i run on the black pdf so this is going to take slightly longer time now i must tell you about this uh, white pdf it was a simple pdf which i had converted from uh, save as pdf i had created a doc file and then saved it as a pdf that small pdf extension that comes with the word microsoft word 2007 and this one pdf the one that i have renamed to black pdf is actually a pdf that i downloaded long back from a torrent now just to when i came across this uh, pdf id tool i thought i must check of what i am already holding in my hard disk so if they are actually malicious like we all keep hearing it do not download do not download from torrents they can be harmful so i just wanted to check and the first file that i checked had a javascript now what i have already seen i'm just running it here so it will take about another about 30 40 seconds before the results come out like uh, in the white pdf here what you see in the screen obj and obj stream and stream etc javascript js here they are uh, shown nil. now here comes a result now you see the difference <coughs> uh, 
between the two files the black and the white file uh, these are the object headers and stream nothing so what we should basically be interested here is there is a javascript inside it there are some a, a, this uh, actions being performed at the back end uh, when you open this pdf unknown to the user unlike here it is all zero here you count count now there are ways to find out what uh, this javascript does then then you have to um, run a command like uh, strings i think it will run on this i'll go to that folder cd mount shared yeah this was yeah strings y dot uh, um, yeah so this is all what you'll have to go through what is running right now uh, to find out what where is the javascript and what it is actually doing like uh, what i have run actually is strings a small command that identifies identify the strings which are uh, there in the pdf file so that's all for the way uh, in this video cast uh, thank you for watching bye